to the like groundhog day, another frustrating day, right? Yep. <coughs> frustrating. Did you know you were coming back in the game at some point if things didn't work, or was that just a result of the turnovers and they brought you back? Um, I was just ready no matter what, yeah. Um, you know, things weren't going very well. Um, so Coach Helm told me I was going back in. Mark had talked about needing to run it 40 times, 18 rushes, and some of those were quarterback runs. What can you do with that kind of balance? Um, not a lot. When you're passing the ball, stuck in a situation where you have to pass the ball, um, couldn't get it going on the ground too much. Can't do much. Um, get a lot. Get very one dimensional. Would you say you are health wise 100 percent or still struggling with a little bit? Still struggling. Yeah. I don't want to put a number on it right now. Right. How tough is it though, too, when, when you're not running the ball well to find any sort? I mean, it's been a thing all year, but. When you're unable to get any sort of rhythm or any cohesion there, how difficult is it for an offense? Pretty difficult. Um, I thought it was pretty embarrassing overall by the offense today. Um, couldn't, couldn't pass ball very well, couldn't run the ball very well. Looked like a, had a lot of turnovers. Didn't have a lot of time of possession. Two of 16 on third down. Um, turnovers really killed us, but uh, did not play very well. Defense, defense played outstanding. Um, like they have all year. They kept us in the game. Um, honestly, we should have been, the way the defense is playing, we should have been up um, by a lot more. Or it should have been up at least um, by the, in the second half, third quarter. You also started four or five drives inside the five. It was. It didn't help um, when Rock came in. He, didn't, he wouldn't want to set up in a great position on the field um, to be able to succeed with you know, just, you know, this is unfortunate uh, with the place in the um, field we're at. How do you fix an offense that Get people going, get them fired up in practice. Um, Got to do it. And I hope that it translates to game later. You were not in the game at that time, but when Larice came in motion and uh, that play got messed up, is that on the quarterback to call that at a certain point, or it just seemed like the timing was all screwed up? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, it could have been um, the center just snapped a little late, Rock snapped a late. Um, I'm not really sure. You can ask. You can ask Rocky if he comes up here. When you, uh, when did you find out you were going to get to start, and what was the moment like when the coach said we're going to go with Rocky? Um, it was, I mean, I knew I was going to start all week. I was hoping my arm was going to feel okay to be able to. Um, and after Brock came in, I, I mean, I could tell I wasn't throwing the ball very well. I could still kind of, um, didn't, just didn't feel right with my arm. So I was probably going to say hey, Rock needs to go in anyway, just because he can throw the ball. His, his arm's a lot healthier and it's a lot better than mine right now. Is that tougher in the cold? I know you played through some stuff with him. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I didn't, I didn't feel a difference too much um, with the cold. Once you got going and started rounding it, it wasn't too bad. What about when you went back in? How was that in terms of the looseness of the arm and everything else? Yeah, you know, after not throwing for a little bit, um, I tried to warm up um, as much as I could and <clears throat> just went in there and tried to, you know, make some points. Um, you know, without getting specifics or anything, so how do you feel? How did you feel today coming out? Just compared to the last couple of weeks, as far as your comfortable, being comfortable throwing the ball and just you know moving around doing things. Um, you know, it could be better. Not great. Um, never want to you know, blame an injury, but definitely doesn't help. It's kind of been the theme for the past couple of weeks. I just feel like it just just holding you back from making the kind of or playing how you want to. Yeah, a little bit. Um, but like I said, I don't want to make excuses. It's just a mindset you kind of got to get through. Um, and I got to do that. Did, you, did I hear you say that you were going to actually suggest putting tell them like you should put Rocky in? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I know that I can't make the throws that I want to sometimes. Um, just with the arm right now. And that was one of them. I you know, like I, maybe I, maybe it's just not my day. Um, Try and give Rocky a chance. Yes, his arm is obviously a lot stronger right now. And, you know, he's, very, he's very accurate. He's got time to pop himself. So. For you guys as a unit, I mean, the running game doesn't really generate much either. How frustrating was it? Is it for you to look at the defense keeping you guys in it for the most part and just not being able to yeah. put the points on the board? To keep the I mean, it's kind of been the story of the season. The defense has kept us in the game. The offense has just looked. Um, 
it's not good at all. We couldn't be, we can't get anything going. Um, our offense is, our defense is keeping us in the game, and it's just really frustrating that time and time again we can't get it going. And I feel very bad for them because they played, they played their asses off. The defense did. Um, yeah, you, know, I, you can't ask for much better performance than, than what they did. They held a you know, very potent Ohio State offense um, to only nine, really seven points until late in the game um, when things kind of piled on. But uh, okay. and how much did special teams? You know, obviously they're able to the punter was able to pin you guys within like the five yard line stuff. How much did that factor into you know trying to? You know, get out of bad situations. Like yeah, you know, we weren't set up in a good spot a lot in that second half. You know, we don't have one. Not much you can do. Um, you know, you can, you can try and get it out, but our fair run game wasn't working, so we had to open up and pass it. And um, it's not always the easiest thing to do when you're back to one one like you one yard line. And then, what, and then with a try and maybe be in that situation before and Rocky, you know, kind of first getting that situation. You know, back up five yard line. How, how did you kind of maybe coach him or help him a little bit to try and get out? I mean, he's had game time experience yeah, in those, okay. so there's nothing. Okay. I, I, I told him just be careful with the ball. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the one spot in the field that you can't turn over. Mm -hmm. um, I told him to take care of it. Um, that's it. Yeah. Thanks, Brian. Why didn't you say you made that suggestion to maybe go with Rocky? What point in the game was that you said, Brian? Um, I mean, after throw to Daryl, that was high for him. After the high throw to Daryl, right yep. side last thing. Yep. Mark said that Coach is going to take the red shirt. This seems like something that pretty surprised Coach D said that. Yeah, I assume you heard that at all. And, and I, guess I mean, I, I heard him say in the press conference. Um, okay. So I wasn't 100% sure. Uh, obviously, his foot's bothering him, so that's probably smart for him. You thought about, I mean, this is frustrating for you. You thought about shutting it down for you? Um, it's crossing mine, but um, it's I don't I don't want to give up on this team. And if I feel like I can go, um, and you know, honestly, at the beginning of every game, um, I kind of feel like I can I can you know, try and make the throws. And well, sometimes when I get out there, it's not happening. So. Um, Something that's just way too weak, I guess. I think you got you just gotta keep keep at it until like uh, you know that's part of it. It's kind of frustrating to know you're going to be able to do it because the condition. Yeah, definitely. Did it most of the time, but the last the last drive, you know, is there? I mean, without going into the specifics of what it is, is there any hope for you that before next season that you are throwing like you used to be? Before next season, yeah, yeah there shouldn't be any doubt. Yeah, I'm not talking about next season. I'm talking about before, like any of the games this year. Like, oh, the game, is there any chance or, or is it? I think so. I mean, if anything, the bowl game would be eight weeks away, I think, from the injury. So, uh, I, honestly, I'm not sure, but it'll just have to be something I feel. I, I feel like. You're not putting yourself in any danger that it could get worse? No. Um, by throwing it, it won't get any worse. No. What about some of those hits that you took? I mean, you took some pretty big legs. Yeah, what it was. Especially the one you went head first. And the guy oh, yeah, the, where I dealt yeah. with legs. Yeah, that one, that one wasn't too bad. I don't see the... The one that banged me the most was the first QB sneak I got hit around the forehead by the linebacker when he was trying to go for the line. Um, so that was that was honestly the biggest one. But um, you know you, you're going to take hits when you're a quarterback in the Big Ten. So. Outside of just the throwing, do you feel like it's changed? Can you maybe your, how you attack the position right now with this injury? You can't really get out and run. Um, I mean I can as long as I'm safe, and I don't think if I if I dive at someone. Legs, the chance of like, you know head first or even slide, the chance of it getting hurt pretty low. So I don't think it's really fair to run. I've actually tried to run more just to try and use my legs. How do you guys mentally manage what's going on right now between you and Rocky and the coaches? That's fine. That's fine. Um, you know, I'm I'm all for him. I know he's he's a great quarterback too. And whichever one, either me or him, that gives us the best chance to win, I think we should go with it. Uh, when you go back to thinking about the beginning of the season, what your hopes were, what you were thinking this offense could be, and you go through what you're going through today, what this, uh, just juxtapose those a little bit. Night and day difference. Um, you know, obviously, we had very high expectations, but you know, obviously it hasn't panned out as well as we wanted to. But you know, there's still games ahead to try and get stuff going um, and try and make us a little more potent of an offense than what we, than what we have now. So, cool. Thank you. So that's your phone, Ryan.